Hi Grade 8, welcome to your third week in Band Lab. Hopefully you've been having an absolutely fantastic time messing around with a completely huge array of different genres of music. Last week we learned how to make our intro by changing it every four bars. We started with our foundation, which was our beats and our bass. Then we put in our midsection, our synths, and then we went to our highs, which is our lead and our melody. Now, some of you are asking me, like, what happens if we don't have a lead or melody? It doesn't have to necessarily be called that. You could even use a flute synth. The point is, is how they sound in the register, in the musical register. Like, drums, drums are technically everywhere, but if you look at bass, bass is very low. That's why it's our foundation. It's very, uh, it never sounds, that's not bass. Whereas keyboards can really get the huge array, but most of the time they're in the middle section. Then you have flutes and some horns that can really be out there, that can really be high. So what you have to pay attention to is how high they are in the musical register. Are they sounding low or are they sounding high? If they're sounding high, use them as a lead or a melody. If they're sounding low, put them in your foundation. So in today's lesson, the way we're gonna make our progression, the way we're gonna have an energy change is instead of applying our beats in the beginning of the song, we're gonna bring our beats after our introduction. And what that is going to do is gonna bring in a huge amount of energy because today we're gonna to be creating our chorus. All right, so we're gonna start off with our melodic instruments. So from our keyboards to whatever just has a nice mid sounding section. So make sure you pick a good instrument pack that has a huge amount of different musical instruments and effects so we can really make good use of them. And then, we're gonna apply them and we're gonna bring our drums in just after the intro so that we have a nice sounding chorus. So today, we're gonna focus on our chorus. Let me see you in the band lab. All right, welcome back to band lab, everyone. So log into your band lab account, make sure you're in Google Chrome, click onto the icon, then click mix editor on your personal project. Give it a sec to load. Browse loops. All right, we're in. So today's lesson, like I said, we're gonna be creating a chorus. So you can either use your previous intro, but if you weren't too satisfied with it or you think you can find something cooler, then go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna start off with my packs. I'm gonna create another intro. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna create an intro that is once again from one to 16 beats. And then we're gonna create our chorus, which is gonna be beat 17 to 25. Now, before I get into the points of the course, let's just set up our intro and let's make it cool. So some of you I've seen are getting stuck with just the first few loops in the pack, which is, is understandable, but don't forget there's so many different packs that are really, really interesting. And remember, use an instrumental pack. I'm gonna scroll down, down to the underbelly where no one ever looks. That probably has some good stuff until I find something quite interesting. Ooh, K-pop expanded. That means Korean pop. Korean pop is quite nice. So let's check it out. So we have some candy wrap bass. Let's hear it. Bass. All right, that's cool. That's all right. So the way we talked about it in our beginning video was we started off by setting up our foundation, which was our beat, our bass, our middle section and our highs and having some effects in between. Now, however, we're going to bring the beats in later on in the chorus, just so we can bring in the energy and just a few rules to stand by that will really, really help you have a good sounding chorus is the chorus is the most important, important part of a song. So it has to be catchy. You can't, it should be something you can't get out of your head. It should also have a bit of, it should have quite high energy because this is one of the climaxes of the song and also should have the main vocal melody. So it should be the, mo it is the most important part of the song, point number one. Point number two, it should be catchy. It should be something you can't get out of your head. Number three, it should contain the main vocal melody or tune. And number four, it has to be somewhat of high energy. So it can't just be low. So that's what we're gonna focus on when we're making a chorus. But first, let's set up our intro. So remember, I'm not gonna bring in my drums until the chorus. It's just another way to really bring in the energy. Another rule to remember is the more elements of music you have, such as beat, bass, percussion, effects, all that stuff, the more of them you have, 
the more energy something's going to be generally. Sometimes if you have too much, it'll just sound cluttered and sound messy. So don't go putting in 20 different tracks just to get a high energy sound. You don't really need that much, but usually you'd have more in the chorus as compared to the verse. All right, enough talking. Let's get started. All right, so let me look for something in between. Let me find some chords. Let's I already like that. Let's drag it in, put it in there. Hello, drag it to the bar number one. All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Let's bring in some hi hats. Let's see how it sounds. It's an interesting hi hat. It has a key on it, which is really not normal, but. Let's work with that. All right, candy wrap hi hat number four, dragging in. All right, there it is. Put it right there. I'm gonna extend this. So remember, we're layering it, so we're not replacing. So we're just layering. Now, if I wanna zoom out, command left, just so it makes it more manageable for me to see everything. Let's see how it sounds from here. All right, that's cool. All right. All right, that's cool. This is all candy wrap stuff. All right. Let's add in some. Let's see some. Not, not, we're not bringing the beats just yet. Let's see some bass. What is that? Yeah, that sounds like it's going to amp up the energy just a little bit. So that's gonna be from here. We're layering, so make sure you extend everything else. Don't leave them behind. Let's take our chord progressions, extend it there. Take our hi-hat. Boom, extend it. Let's see how it sounds from there. Oh, that came in too soon. Don't let that catch you. Make sure it's always dead on the bar. Otherwise it'll sound like, ah, missed something. I feel like it's too, too much. Let's see something else. Is that it? <laughs> All right, so I'm probably gonna go for that one. Let's see what else they have. Mm, some. All right. Give me something, people. What do you have? Some slow idle keys. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Ooh, these are cool. Let's see some get a beat. No, no, we don't beat one bass. Let's see how it sounds with candy wrap number two. Seems rather strange. All right, let's go for it. Let's let's make some music. Whatever happens, happens. Nah, don't want that. Let's go for number one. Come on, give me something. All right, we can work with that. All right, so that's there. I need one more section so I can take it up to bar 16. Right there. That's the end of bar 16. Yeah, don't forget, this is 17, meaning it hasn't yet started. So don't get confused thinking, oh, he's dragged it to bar 17. No, I just dragged to the end of bar 16. All right, let's see what else we got. Take some effects. That's Ooh, these are really cool. 
All right, let's do the next one. Hmm, let's try number one. Oh, let's see. How is number two? They're all pretty short. I thought they're longer. All right, let's hear this. are interesting in a way uh let's see let's see scroll down let's get some what's this oh that's cool <laughs> what is that? All right, you know what? I'm going to work with what we have. So if this is going to be here, let's see. It's a candy wrap beat, candy wrap hi hats. So let's see how that sounds over here. Come back, Mr. Playhead. All right, so let me show you guys one little cool technique. Just to, cause now from here, we're gonna bring in our course from bar 17 to 25. So our course is gonna take up, that's eight bars. So let me zoom in just a little bit, just so you can see what's going on. So there is our candy wrap. It's a little longer than I thought, which is cool. Let's take that there. This part should not be bleeding in, so it's okay. Let's see, is there a mistake somewhere? Nine. That's a bit odd. All right, so that came in bar four. This one came in at the end of bar eight, right there. So what's going on? Why is it not clicking? So this is candy wrap base number one. Let me take it back. Candy wrap base number one. All right, there it is, much better. And then we come into our effects. So that means if I want this over here, it's gonna to need to drag in just a little bit more. Now watch this. So this is bar, the end of bar 16 on the last beat. I am going to, let me just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to remove this last beat so that this part right here, this little wave will remain there. So that's called subtracting. So I'm gonna subtract all of these just right there so there can be a bit of an energy pop when the chorus comes in. So watch this. Boom, right there. Let's play it from when the effect comes in. Yeah, right there. So that clapped up. That's going to bring in a bit of energy when we have a course. All right, let's get started with our course. Now, what do we have? Some arpeggiators. All right, so these are definitely gonna, one of these is gonna be my main melody. One thing to notice about them, they're very high up in terms of pitch. So they'll work really well. Let me go to number three. All right, right there. Scroll it in. I'm gonna put it in right there, bar 17. Then I'm gonna copy. Let me copy this one. So control C then click there. I want to let me put, put where my playhead is, then command or control V, make it simple. This is way too long, so let me shorten it out. Only want it to reach bar 25. Right there. Alright, let's see. 
All right, cool. Next one, same thing. Copy. I'm just this is just the long way. Paste. Same thing. Just, it's a bit too long. Take it bar twenty. End of bar twenty four. Drag it there. Should drag it back. All right, on to the next one. Our candy wrap base. Copy. I press Command Control V. Put my playhead here. Control V. Drag it right there. Then let me have my arpeggiator. All right, let's see how that sounds. From right here. All right, so it came in, but it was lacking the energy we're looking for. Why? Because there is no beat. Let's look for the beat. Let's bring in the energy, people. All right. Hmm, what's that? beat number four Let's see how this is number three so it sounds like it's about to bring us a low of energy right there let's see what it has maybe let me solo it so I can hear it by itself Okay, you know what? Forget this effect right here. Actually, no, let's let's have that effect, but let me put it in right here. That's gonna be a nice build up up to yeah. So let me put this up here. Let me swap swap them around. Bring my arpeggiator down here. Right there. Let's see how that sounds. Let's see how it's brought the energy. So unsolo that, press play. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Then I'll bring in my beat. A nice solid beat with a snare. Let me put this right in here. This one doesn't. All right, so if you notice, this one doesn't really affect it. Why? Because the waves are flat right there. So it wouldn't mess with our small little pop. Then let me drag this again, make it all the way to the end. All right, and just to show the ending of that small chorus, let's bring in some more effects. Let's see if you guys have any other cool effects for us. Towards the end, let's see how that works. Mm, I feel like it came in too soon. Let me push it in just a little bit. Because I don't want it to compete with my main melody. In fact, let me shorten it just a little bit. Put it in right there. Shorten this part as well. And you want it for a small amount of time, just so it can really have a good effect. Oh, that is way too much. All right, take that away. Let's see what we got here. All right, that works. That's short and snappy. 
put that in right there. Yeah, that's that's all right. Let me even let me use my subtraction method. Let me try to take some of these out right here. This one is already in, had flat waves, so it's not going to make a difference. Right there. And then our beat, let me subtract it. When you subtract your beat, that's when you really get nice effect out of all of it. So let's see what we have. Let's hear it from there. Yeah, all right. Let's hear it from the top. Oh, what is that doing right there? First of all, let me just organize myself a little bit. So right here we have our chords keyboard of our chords then the next one we have our hi-hats I'll just remove that there hi-hats next we have our bass super effects or SFX means S special effects then we have our arpeggiators right there then we have our beat all right let's see what magic we made That's really, really cool. So right there, that's from bar 17 to 25. That's my chorus. Bar 1 to 16, that is my intro. So we're not technically using a super cliche song format, which would just be intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus, bridge. But we're going through a, a slightly different format that will still sound really good. So go ahead, create an intro. If you want to make another one, there's no problem. If you want to use your other one, and you're satisfied with it, there's no problem. Just make sure you select a pack that is has a lot of effects. Like don't select one where you just where you can oops. <laughs> don't select one where if you scroll, why is it doing that? Alright, let me just click there. What get out of here. Alright, so don't select one where if you just scroll down a little bit, it ends right there. That's just it's not gonna help you. Make sure you have a huge selection of different things. And remember, scroll down on your packs. There's a huge world to explore. Don't get stuck just on the top, top little like cherry of what's right there, right in front of you. All right, so now just one last thing. As you're submitting, notice I did not click on my assignments. So there's another way you can submit your work. So don't let it worry you. So let, let me put this as Korean strut since we were making some K-pop, all right? So I'll click save. Those are our dogs making noise. Go to library and right here. So on my personal projects, here's Korean Strut. Now, if I wanna submit this as an assignment, all I'll do is let me go back to BandLab, click there. All right, so click your class. And then click view assignment. Then what would happen is it would ask you, would you like to submit another assignment? And what you do is, so you would click, instead of going straight to the mix editor, you click from your personal projects. Then you click onto your assignment, the one that you just created, then you click next. So right now, because I can't really demonstrate that since I've already clicked submitted one here, but that's okay. So 
Yeah. So anyway, so if you want to submit an assignment that you haven't really clicked on to assignment first, just click the assignment, click personal projects, click the one you saved, click next. The rest just becomes super straightforward and common sense filled. All right, have fun doing this. Remember, explore, be good in terms of your creativity and make it catchy, make it sound good. We're going for a full song. So give it your best and I will see y'all next week. Bye for now.